Liam Thompson is one of many Derby County players with his contract up for extension at the end of this season. Now, if that extension does not go through, he will obviously be leaving in the club and following in the footsteps of the likes of Max Bird, Festi Abicelli, Jason Knight and Louis Sibley as academy graduates who have all moved on to pastures new. Now, in my opinion, I believe he should follow the Erin Cashin route and stick with Derby County and get himself a new deal. Now, the big question is, does Paul Warren, Richie Barker, and the Derby County coaching staff want him? That is a massive question on my lips. Now, if we go across the two and a half seasons-ish that Paul Ward has been in charge of Derby County, Liam Thompson has been one of those players that has been very, very hit and miss with getting in the squad and getting in the team. Now, obviously, if we go back to Paul Warren's first season, Liam Thompson didn't get many minutes at all. We brought in Harvey White, who ultimately wasn't good enough, and it was one of them for me where... Liam Thompson never really got a proper opportunity, ended up getting sent out on loan to Scunthorpe and then picked up an injury which kept him out for the remainder of the season. Now, we're back at a point in the Championship where we have a high quality midfield with the likes of David Ozo, Kenzo Heldmine and Ebo Adams and... Liam Thompson is finding his way and finding his feet and I think he's done a really good job in recent weeks of finding his form in this Derby County side. I think his previous two appearances have been really, really good. Now, the big question for me is, will he get a new contract? Now, if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell to stay tuned for all of my latest Derby County content heading your way on this channel. If you have not done so already, you will see Kitbag on the screen. Make sure you go and check out their link down in the description. They've got 50% off 50 selected lines. If you use code SAVE at checkout, you may even be able to get yourself a little bit of an extra discount. So check out that down in the description. Now back to Liam Thompson. An absolute wonderful player in my opinion. A real hard working midfielder and someone who can't do enough for you in the team. And is a real workhorse and is a player who I really enjoy watching. I think... He's not necessarily the best on the ball, he's not necessarily the best off the ball, but the effort, work rate and determination that he puts in puts him above certain players who probably have a little bit better technical ability, probably some players who maybe have a little bit better defensive ability, just because he's able to do so much running and get himself about the pitch. Now, obviously we know Derby County brought Ben Osborne in this summer in a way to try and build up that midfield with some extra quality and maybe even build up that left wing back position. But obviously, as we know, Ben Osborne has suffered a, a handful of injuries over the course of recent weeks and ultimately hasn't really been able to play all that often. Now, it certainly has become a thing where he'll probably only play one game in a week, um, which is okay because we seem to have the players to stand up for it. Now, for me, with Liam Thompson, there is a situation where Derby County could look at this and go, we've pro we could probably get a better option than Liam Thompson. And I ultimately wouldn't be against it, but I do think he's done enough to earn a new contract. I think he's shown that he's capable of playing at this level. And I think we've got to be really careful of heading into the January window and then obviously towards the summer of not letting go of too many players so that we've got too much work to do in the summer or in this January window. Now, Obviously, as some of you may know, Derby County have maxed out their registration so far for this season, which will obviously, in my opinion, see moves be done in January. Some players will have to go. Some, If we want to bring players in, players have to go. And that's the big conversation for me. Now, obviously, it's not always what you expect. It's not always what you want. And we have a few players on the books who I personally don't believe are good enough for the championship. Now, I understand I'm not Paul Warren, I'm not Richie Barker, I don't see them daily in the training ground, but I just think, as a fan and what I do see, I just think we could probably replace them with a lone player who could offer the same, if not more. And obviously, when we talk about Liam Thompson, I'm not sure whether it's that same effect. I don't know if someone else could come in and bring what he brings to the team. I think... Players with an engine and workhorses, your likes of Graham Shinnies, your likes of Jason Knights, your likes of Liam Thompson, your likes of Craig Bryson, are all hard to come by players. Now, the difference we had with Jason Knight was he was a versatile animal, could play anywhere on the pitch, whereas Liam Thompson, I don't necessarily think he has that in him. Yes, we've seen him play at left wing back in pre-season, we've seen him play at left wing on occasion in a 4-4-2 or a 5-4-1, but ultimately... His, his 
role is that middle of the park. Let him run up and down. Let him tackle people. Let him start off breakaways. And that's brilliant. But what I think Derby County need is someone like that in a similar vein to what we used to have with Craig Bryson. Now, ultimately, I think Liam Thompson deserves a new contract, but I don't think that should stop us from looking for the next best thing and looking for those players who could ultimately change the way we look at our midfield. You look at the impact that Kenzo Heldmine has had, especially when he's fit, and it is unbelievable. Now, obviously, we head into the game versus Preston this weekend with... A lot to play for, in my opinion. We're obviously nowhere near safe in this division. I think it's only four points from uh, that relegation zone, which is obviously ultimately slightly disappointing. But we're in a position where we can obviously uh, claw some points in this weekend. I think Preston are sitting 20th in the division. My preview video came out yesterday. Um, and it's one of those for me where if we can get Liam Thompson in, uh, on an extended contract, comfortability, Aaron Cashin, new contract, comfortability, uh, Mendes Lang, I think he's got a deal till 2026, Curtis Nelson now, deal till 2026, then we start looking really saucy in this team and there's a lot that we can do moving forward to prepare us for a better championship outcome. Now, obviously this season, the main aim is finishing 21st or above. So long as we don't get relegated, that is the aim and I think Liam Thompson's capable of that. I think Liam Thompson's capable of playing in a, a, a mid-table championship team. I think even the likes of Louis Sibley, who's moved on to Oxford and not necessarily pulled a penny tree, he's not really had a massive opportunity. I think he is also good enough to play in a championship midfield of um, a mid-table championship midfield. And I think ultimately, given a run of games in the right position, I ultimately think he could be a top six championship midfielder. Do I think Liam Thompson has that potential? Maybe not to the same extent. I do think that Liam Thompson has the ability to become better than he is now. I think he's obviously still quite young. I think he's probably 21, 22. So he's still got a way to go in his development. And you look at players like Liam Thompson and you look at some of the players coming through uh, the youth system now. You look at the likes of um, Cruz Allen, Niall McAndrew. You look at um, Harry Hawkins in the midfield area and... You've got these players who are very versatile and capable of playing technically. And that's the little bit that I think Liam Thompson lacks. I think he's really good at keeping hold of the ball. I think he's got a really good low centre of gravity. But I do think that there is going to be players out there who are obviously much better than him and much more what we need. Now, obviously, you can let me know your thoughts down in the comments. But for me, Liam Thompson needs a new contract. And in my opinion, he needed one. He, he should have been given a longer extension during the summer. Um, you obviously look at some other players who are out of contract this summer, the likes of Kane Wilson, uh, Connor Washington, Tom Barkays and Forsyth, Sonny Bradley. Uh, who else is out of contract? Obviously, James Collins. He's another one out of contract this summer. And then I think everybody else is pretty much safe. Obviously, Nat Phillips will go back on loan. Harness will go on loan go back from his loan, uh, Chiwa, um, Jerry Yates, etc. will all go back from their loan. Ultimately, these are all things which we're going to talk about on this channel over the course of the next few weeks and months as we head towards the January transfer window. Now, if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button as well to help push this channel to brand new audiences. I appreciate all of your support over the course of the last year. It's been a year since I started posting on YouTube. What a year it has been. What a journey. 420,000 views, 1,350 plus subscribers, 19,000 watch hours. Thank you for being along for the ride. I'll catch you in the next one.